The mayor of Minneapolis today imposed a moratorium on no-knock warrants after police executing one of those warrants shot and killed a 22-year-old man they say was armed. Deadly police shooting in Minneapolis. The 22-year-old black man was not the subject of the warrant and as seen in the video, was asleep under blankets when officers entered. Are you in there? Someone on the ground. Sleep. Have you ever wondered how you might react if you're a police officer in some of the situations that they face day to day? Well, wonder no more because we're going to find that out today on Switch. This is where civilians take on the shoes of police officers and have to make those critical decisions when life is on the line. Let's go. Switch. They going our head of day, yeah. You guys are on a search warrant. You guys are actually doing a no-knock warrant. Uh, there's a suspect that, uh, a murder suspect that we're looking for. The, your department's already done all the paperwork. They already have reason to believe that this person is at the house. For the sake of the scenario, there's only two officers that are gonna be going in, but in, you know, imagine you guys have a whole tag team. So you guys are gonna basically start at the bottom of the stairway of where you guys just came up, and you guys have to go in there. Again, this is a no-knock. No-knock, we do these because we're trying to have the element of surprise of the suspect so they don't know you're coming. No knock warrant, your job is to go in there and find the suspect and bring him out. Like you guys are dealing with somebody who's already have a, shows a, shown a propensity for violence. Uh, he's killed somebody at a recent gas station. And so they've done all the more research and now you guys have to go in there and find this guy. It's the police coming up. Get down. Are you in there? Don't make this difficult. It's clear right now. We'll go forward first. All right, back to back. Yeah, what's going on down here? Miss, there's somebody laying down. There's somebody on the ground. He's sleeping. Come out! Arrest him. I got your back. I got your back. I got him. On his stomach. We got a man down, shots fired. All right, scenario over. Police. 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 Oh, no. Mm -mm. Police. We know you ain't come here with your hands up. Not on the same level. Don't be on the same level. Don't be on the same level. Police. Identify yourself. Police. Police! I need the cover. Come from up under the blanket. Come from up under the blanket. Get down, get down, get down. You cannot. Oh, you get enough? He has a gun. He has a gun. I got, I got, I got straight ahead. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. He's down, he's down. He's down. He's down. Make sure, take the gun, take the gun. Come on. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. All right, scenario over. All right. When we were approaching that situation, you came up and it, what it looked to be is a gun. I don't even know if you have a gun, but I seen you come up like this with something that looked like a gun, so I shot. So you weren't sure if it was a gun right away, but it, you, it felt like... It felt like, hey, this is a movement that uh, it's not going to turn out good. He has a weapon and I wasn't even sure if it was a gun or a cell phone, to be honest but it seemed to be as a gun and I had to make the, that decision. Light came on, seeing you land, but I didn't see the gun, I, hear, I heard him say gun. Get down, get down, get down. But I didn't want to fire right away because I didn't know. Oh. Um, so in that situation, I guess his partner trust, no trust in what he's seen and I didn't. So I know that would probably have put us in a bad spot. Do you think you guys could have shot the moment you guys saw me have the gun? It's a judgment call because what if you don't have a gun? I mean, we've, we, the, the, the situations where we shoot, we hit you, we kill you, and you don't have a gun in your hand, now it's another unarmed man killed by police. So 
in that situation for me, again, I don't, should I, it's a trust thing. Do I trust what my partner sees? Yeah. But do you feel like you would be justified explaining why you shot the moment you saw me pull out with that gun? Knowing the situation that you're walking into, knowing what the suspect has done, knowing what he's capable of, you, absolutely. You're walking into a dangerous situation with a dangerous individual who's known, who's already, he's a murder suspect already. Uh, so knowing that you're walking into a situation where nine times out of 10, he's not trying to go to jail. Um, he's not trying to touch them cuffs. So I do believe it would have been, we could have justified firing him. So this happens on a Sunday, Monday morning comes, you guys turn on the news and this is what the headline says. Officers shoot man who was sleeping on his couch. How does it make you guys feel? That's kind of almost, that's not right because I'm doing my job, I'm protecting myself, my family, and I'm doing the job that I signed up for the right way. That's what I feel like and that's what I did. Let me ask you a question. Who told you that this was the murder suspect? Mm. It's like, no one, no one said that. Um, but I do believe your reaction told us that you're exactly who we're looking for. Anybody else in that situation or in that circumstance that's innocent, they're not getting up running. They hear police, they have been identified. I don't have anything, I don't have it, whatever it is, you know, hands are up. But the fact that when we got up those stairs, I asked you to get from up under that cover and your immediate reaction was to run and get cover and peek. Now I know you're who yeah. I'm looking for. Does it make you feel any different when you found out that this guy that you guys killed was not the murder suspect? Come here and say what? <laughs> does, it make you, does it make you feel any differently that after it was come to find out, you found out this is not the murder suspect? Does it make you feel any different? No, he had a weapon. And it was either, it's at the end of the day, like we've spoken about, I need to make it back home to my family. Okay. You have a gun in your hand and you're not willing to give yourself up. Now we have to make a decision. So the big reveal is this actually happened. Officers were responding. They did a no-knock warrant on an apartment complex because they believed that the suspect was inside the apartment. So they did a no-knock at nighttime because they needed to catch him by surprise. So the reality of what ended up happening was is as they enter into the apartment, somebody sleeping on the couch takes the cover off and the officers see a gun and it's nighttime and they end up shooting him. The headline said that the officer shot a man that was sleeping in his apartment who was not the suspect mm. that they were looking for. Mm. So you just now killed me and I wasn't the suspect. The movement killed you, your movement. You know what I mean? That killed you. So unfortunately somebody died, but at the end of the day, I feel and, like and I, I did have my to job. Say, we announced ourselves mm -hmm. when we entered mm -hmm. the space as police. Mm -hmm. So that, that sort of movement, we may be here for one suspect, but if somebody else, act, I have to react to all the situations. Exactly. I have to react to every kind of movement, every type of person. Whoever is in that area, I have to respond to. So I didn't come in looking to shoot someone on yeah. the couch, but I am serving a no-knock warrant on a, a potential murder mm -hmm. suspect, so. As always, this episode was brought to you by the one and only 88 Tactical. Make sure you guys go on 88tactical.com to see what they're doing. But it was also brought to you by the one and only Bedros Cooley on himself. Thanks again for allowing us to utilize these great facilities. Switch.